Hey guys, welcome to episode number 266. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and today I wanted to walk you through how to wire a mini strobe siren to a float switch to use as a water level alarm uh, in your aquarium. If your water, for whatever reason, in your sump is getting dangerously high, uh, this is a DIY solution to alert you um, that that's going on. So let's kind of walk through how this works before we go and install it. We're going to start with our power from our wall here and we're immediately going into a 12 volt 5 amp power supply. And from there we are connecting to a CCTV um, two wire um, adapter here. Uh, if you Google them online, it's just CCTV adapter. It's got a positive and a negative terminal. You can connect two wires in there. And the nice part is, there's a male and a female end to these, and uh, it will plug directly into the stock uh, end to that adapter. So from there, we have two wires. Uh, we have the positive, which is going up here, and into our float switch. This is a normally open float switch so the uh, signal or the circuit uh, is not connected while the float is down and then when the float goes up it connects the circuit uh, the wire that comes out of there comes down into another one of these plugs and then into our mini strobe siren uh, so this is our mini strobe siren box here pretty standard uh, it's actually pretty lightweight. There isn't a whole lot to it, but basically what it has is a an LED light component and then it has an alarm component and we'll listen to that in a second. Uh, and then the ground wire comes out of that, goes through this connector again, and then back to our power supply. So a very simple circuit here. And the only thing that's interrupting it right now is this float uh, being down. So if my water level in my sump was rising dangerously high, it would connect this circuit and the alarm and the strobe would then go off. So let's give that a try, see what that sounds like. Pretty cool stuff. Um, ideally, this will never happen in an aquarium or in a fish room, uh, but this is just for peace of mind. This is just to make sure that for whatever reason, uh, we never have a water event in the aquarium, and this will warn me um, at least you know, an hour or two or maybe a, a few minutes or more uh, before a water event happens, depending on how much water is entering the sump for whatever reason this is kind of the last line of defense before water ends up on the floor so this is kind of how it works we have some 18 gauge wire here and some wire nuts we're gonna go connect it to the uh, the wall and uh, connect it to the the sump barrel itself and then we'll bring you back and see how this looks installed in the fish room alright guys and here is the strobe alarm installed on the wall um, let's start actually with the float this time. The float is located in the third um, sump filter barrel here and this is the barrel that should always stay low. Uh, as you can see I have the float switch in there. It fills the barrel up to about uh, here. It should never go above that line and if it does there's something wrong. Either uh, the power to this is off or this is clogged up, is jammed, or there's a water source on um, that is far overpowering the sump pump. And if anything like that happens, what we have here is our float switch. Uh, you'll see the, the nut right here. The float switch is actually on the bottom. I'll lift it up and you can hear that our alarm is definitely working. Uh, actually, let me focus on the alarm and I'll activate the float switch one more time. You see the LED light goes as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so we've got our wires here coming from that float switch um, attached here and then it snakes up here 
and we do have the alarm mounted to the wall. Um, actually, the way this is hooked up is our ground is a fairly small wire there, which is pretty helpful. And uh, then that connects up here to this wire. I believe it's the 18 gauge wire that goes all the way over here. And our power supply is located up there. And then that plugs into uh, the outlet itself. Uh, just like I showed you on the table uh, before we installed this. So anyways guys, there's plenty of room here for more float switches to be added and there will be future projects with more float switches like this. But this is a nice little project to do. It's a little bit a peace of mind down here in the fish room. Like I've said, this alarm should never go off on its own if everything is functioning the way it should. But this is the last line of defense before a water event in the fish room. I'm going to go ahead and tidy some of these wires up um, as they're just kind of all over the place. But for right now, it's installed, it's functional, and it's protecting my fish room. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.